indictment is only one of a series to be handed down as special grand jury investigation. Grave robbing in Texas is this hour's top news story. An informant led officers of the Muerto County Sheriff's Department to a cemetery just outside the small rural Texas community of Newt early this morning. Officers there discovered what appeared to be a grisly work of art, the remains of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. A second body was found in a ditch near the perimeter of the cemetery. Subsequent investigation has revealed at least a dozen empty crypts, and it's feared more will turn up as the probe continues. Deputies report that in some instances, only parts of a corpse had been removed. The head, or in some cases, the extremities removed, the remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the Goulish case and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. Area residents have reportedly converged on the cemetery, fearing the remains of relatives have been removed. No suspects are in custody as the investigation at the scene continues.
in particular, Sally Hardesty and her invalid brother, Franklin. It is all the more tragic in that they were young. But had they lived very, very long lives, they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm -hmm. 